Hello and welcome to today's review. And I have to say, the person that uh, did the review for the book today didn't want to appear on the camera again. And uh, it is turning into a little bit of a um, bone of contention. And this is the book, Bones of Contention, Richard J. Small and Friends. And it's about philosophy. And it's a subject to all issue over which there is continuing disagreement. Not that this book is all about disagreements and arguments. That's just the Oxford English Dictionary saying that. This book says something a little bit different. It's a collection of short stories, poems, pictures and captions and is a perfect book to take to bed as we draw the duvet over what turned out to be quite an extraordinary year. We're reminded through this witty and at times poignant philosophical book of the individual journey and experiences that we each take. And the author has a pleasing ability to express this state of being through his writing. And as we each find ourselves in various degrees of a pandemic, this book is the perfect antidote to the nonsense that we have experienced in our own unique and relevant lockdown lives. And there's one story in particular that really grabbed me. It made me howl. And it's a story, unlikely as it is, of a virus, a mystery virus at that, that gets into number 10. And it means the staff all go home sick and they draft in other civil servants from other departments. They've got no idea what they're doing. I mean, you know, in, in number 10, obviously in their own department, probably. Um, anyway, they're drafted in. Chaos reigns in number 10. Uh, and the Prime Minister seems uh, happy as Larry. Well, not the cat. Uh, but anyway, he's happy. Uh, and it's just so funny. And as I picked my way through the political litter uh, that was left lying around from the story, it made me think, well, crikey, this could have been written yesterday. It is so relevant. Um, it's very, very funny. And that's just one. One short story and that's the beauty of this it's about sh short stories you can pick it up put it down uh, have a little read you, you know go off and philosophize about that particular point or or just file it as yeah I've read that you know however you feel this is your experience of this book remember that it's you it's all about you mm -mm. anyway the book has a lovely temperament it's thought-provoking emotional uh, but at all times shows a genuine heart to help and guide. Um, oh, I'll just show you a couple of things. Um, there are little pictures like this. This is at the bottom of a little poem. I won't read that to you because, well, you can interpret it in many different ways and I, I wouldn't want you to get, you know, upset uh, or laugh. Depends, doesn't it, on your own viewpoint. And there's this one here. I like this one. This is called Dave's. Dave's piano. Can you hear me? Dave's piano. Let's get rid of the orange. Uh, and it shows a picture of, of a guy, I'm presuming, in his hands over the piano. Presume it's Dave's piano. But is it? Are these Dave's hands? And the caption underneath says, You'll not understand this photo. For the same reason, we cannot listen to music through someone else's ears. There. It's made you think, hasn't it? It's made me think. Amazing. So there we are. Bones of Contention, Richard J. Small and Friends. Scroll up and down the old Facebooky page and find it. Click on it. And Richard, nice chap, lovely chap. He'll get you one posted out before Christmas. Thank you.